Hey there, and welcome to the screencast about how to um, basically upload files to your teacher only section um, and how to then move them and copy them to the content library so that you could then uh, do things with them and have kids kind of kind of go in and look at them. Um, so I want to show you what I mean right now. So in the previous video, um, we went through the manage preferences in Microsoft uh, uh, OneNote class notebook and we set up and enabled the teacher only section just a little side note I actually found out by playing around with it I'm just gonna enlarge that that if I went to um, class notebook up here within teams um, I can actually get to the manage notebooks uh, page the same way that I got to it uh, the same kind of information that I got to it earlier so that if I didn't want to actually leave the teams ecosystem I can still go back and forth to here I actually didn't know that until I was just playing around with it um, so just be aware that you can actually uh, manage your team through here too, which is kind of cool. You don't have to leave. Um, but the way that I did it in the previous video, uh, still totally fine as well. Um, so first things first is I actually, um, just because, I, I mean, I can work in this environment, but like I said, I like to work in the desktop version um, and they both sync with each other. So I am just going to open it up uh, in the app. And actually, I already have the app open. It's right here. <laughs> so um, you can see that this is all the same as the teacher only. It's it's all this stuff. So just know this is that when you make a OneNote notebook and you have it set up and everything, and it looks like this, um, these things right here in the content library, like use the collaboration space, which we did lock, and use the content library. These are all just general things that Office 365 puts in here for you. Uh, and we can easily just right click on it and delete it. And I can do the same exact thing right here and delete it. So now those are gone. Those sections are gone in there. Nothing is inside right now. The collaboration space and the content library. I'm going to leave the content library like that because I have it locked and I don't want to use it. But I do want to make um, an area in here for, so I'm gonna right click here and write new section. And let's just call this one um, class, I'll make a couple, I'll do class notes. Um, and I'll add another one. I could also do it down here as well. Um, and I can call this uh, handouts. And, oh, it's cool. So I have these two sections in the content library, which again, kids can't edit or modify or do anything with. So I'm gonna start right now um, in the, and again, these don't have to be this. This is just what I'm making it right now. Let me start out in the teacher only section. So again, here I have this like getting, you know, started with teacher only. And let me just, I could also rename sections by right clicking. So let's say if I wanna just call this, um, uh, let's see, whoops, hit the wrong button. Let's say if I wanna rename this and just call this like teacher docs. Cool, awesome. Um, and again, if just to make sure that everything's kind of like doing the same thing, um, let's resume here. And as I'm going through, cool, you can already see class notes is here, um, handouts is here, and I have in my teacher only section, the teacher docs. So these two things are talking to each other. Um, it doesn't matter which one that I'm doing it in. I just, again, like to do it in here. Um, so in these teacher docs sections, um, I'm going to delete this page right here. And again, I can right click on it uh, and hit delete page. And I have these two things in here, which I've done prior. Now, let's say I want to add a new page in here and I want to call this summer reading assignment. Awesome. And now let's say I don't actually want to just like type in here. I actually want to insert a word document into here, which is awesome. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go to file. Um, actually, even better, I'm going to insert and I'm going to print out because I want this to actually print out in my notebook. And you can see here that I have my OneDrive hooked up right here. Just going to navigate to the file. Um, so let's say it's this one right here. Uh, allow file conversion. Of course I do. Excellent. So you're going to see it come in. You're actually going to see like the word um, and let me close this so you can see it a little better. This is why I like working in the desktop too, because it's just a cleaner way to look. Um, so all this is was a Word document that said this in it. This is it right here. Um, now the cool thing of once you're working on your Surface and in the desktop app, you can actually just pick up the pen and you can write on it. So let's say I wanted to uh, do things on here. Let me change the color because I don't want it to be purple. Let's make it uh, this black 
And now um, from here, I can actually move over. I can write in the margins and I could just say, um, write all answers below. Awesome, cool. Um, now let's just for argument's sake, go back into here. I'm gonna go back into here and let's see, what did I call this? Whoops, opening up too many things right now. Um, this is inside of summer reading assignment. So sometimes you're gonna see like when you're doing things like this, if you're going back and forth, uh, if it doesn't show up in here right away, it doesn't mean it's not working, it doesn't mean it's not syncing, it just means that it takes some time for something like that to happen. So we'll come back in here at the end just to kind of see where that is. So let's say I'm working in this teacher only section and I want to, um, you know, I'm, I have this assignment here and I'm ready to move it into, like once it's perfected and it's all good, um, Right now the kids can't see it because it's in here, but let's say it's like, all right, you know what? I'm all ready. I actually want to move this from my teacher docs in my teacher only section to the content library in the handouts section. Very, very, very easy to do. So all I do is click on the assignment right here and I right click on it and you're going to see this window pop up and we are going to scroll down to move or copy. So if I wanna move the entire page over to that, I can, um, or I can make a copy of it. So this really depends on what you wanna do. Um, and when you come up, you're gonna see the navigation come up. So I can actually put this anywhere I want. If I really wanted to put it in an individual kid's folder, I could do that too. Uh, but there's a better way to do that where you can do a bunch at once. Um, so let's just stick with what I was doing. I'm going into the content library. I'm gonna click on this and I wanna put it into handouts. Now again, I could copy it. Um, but I wanna move the whole thing, so let me do that. And you can see right now that it is gone from here, and when I go into handouts, you're gonna see it right there, which is really cool. So now this is inside of here. Now the way kids copy stuff from the content library, because they could actually go in here, right click on it, and it'll be a different menu for them, but it, somewhere on theirs, it'll say copy to their, um, to their folders, and they could choose where they wanna put it. Um, and then also in here, let's say I was doing class notes, just to share this out, and we'll do three slash uh, 25 slash 2020. Cool, and I'll just put in here with my pen, I'll do class notes, uh, dot, 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 blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Um, sorry for my chicken scratch, it's just when it's vertical like this and not laying on the table, I find I can't write. Um, so let's just go back to Teams right now. Um, you can see right here, I have my teacher docs. You can see the summer assignment is in there. It hasn't yet moved over um, to the handout section yet, but actually now you can see that it's there. So that it moved over. Um, you can see that it has all of my pen markings on it. Um, it has all this stuff on it and everything is there saved and stored. Uh, whether I'm working in here, or whether I'm working in here. So for management purposes as a teacher, navigating between the teacher only section, creating documents and stuff in there, putting documents in there, getting stuff set up for the way you want it to be, and then moving it to the content library is a really great way to kind of like organize the notebook and have stuff go from your OneDrive into your OneNote and then be available for the kids to see. And once it's in the content library, Ava, Evan, Liam, and Ray, you see they can all go in here, they can all see it, and they could all copy it into their um, OneNote um, if that is the direction that you're giving them and they will get everything in there um, th that you want them to. Um, if you have any questions about this process, I know at first it can be a little confusing, but I do promise once you do this over and over again, it's always the same steps, you will get it, I promise you. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out um, to kind of rehash and go over anything uh, that you see in this video. Take care and I will see you in the next OneNote Class Notebook tutorial. Take care.